Hello friends, welcome to P Bright Academy. In this video today, we are going to discuss PSC questions which were asked for Pharmacist Grade 2 exam, Kerala PSC 2017. This is a part 1 of this question paper and answer discussion. Freeze drying is based on the principle of options are sublimation, desiccation, fluidization, reconstitution. Answer for this question is sublimation. So let's discuss a bit more about freeze drying. It is also known as lyophilization. Okay. And sublimation is the principle of freeze drying. So what happens in sublimation? We have to dry a product. That means we have to remove the water from it. First, we are going to reduce the temperature below its freezing point. Once it is below its freezing point, the water present in product is converted to its ice form. Next, we will slowly reduce the pressure and slightly increase the temperature. So what happens here is the ice is directly converted to its vapor form without going to its intermediate water phase. So this step is avoided. Instead, the direct ice is gets converting to vapor phase without going to liquid phase. It is mainly used for the preservation of antibiotics, seras and vaccine. Next option was desiccation. Desiccation means removal of moisture. Fluidization. Next option was fluidization. So this is a method which is the principle of fluidized bed dryers. So in fluidized bed dryer, the particles is suspended upwards with the application of a force or gas and liquid which is supplied from below. The particles get suspended and then it is dried. So this method is called as fluidized fluidization and it is a principle of fluidized bed dryers. Another option which was there is reconstitution. So reconstitution means mixing of powdered drugs with a liquid which is known as a diluent. We prepare a solution which is then administered or given to the patient. Okay. So reconstitution means the powdered drug is mixed with a liquid or diluent. Here example is amoxicillin clavulate potassium is given as oral suspension. This can be a reconstituted preparation. Why we are giving reconstituted preparation is that sometimes we cannot uh, keep longer for longer period of time because they, there is a chance that the solution will disintegrate. So we have to prepare it immediately and give to the patient. That is the application of reconstituted preparations. Next question is molecules whose mirror images are non superimposable are called as options are stereoisomers, geometric isomers, conformations, and enantiomers. The correct answer is enantiomers. So let's discuss a bit more about stereoisomers. So, definition of stereoisomer is that molecules having the same molecular formula but they have different three-dimensional arrangement or orientation of atoms. So which have the same molecular formula. They have the exactly same molecular formula, but their arrangements are different. Stereoisomers are classified into two types. One, optical isomers, and second is geometrical isomers. So here we will be discussing more about optical isomers. As the term indicates these isomers, or stereoisomers can show optical activity which means that it can rotate the plane polarized light either in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Optical isomers are classified into three types. These are enantiomers, diastereomers and mesocompounds. So we have to know the definition of each as well as at least one example. So enantiomers, they are stereoisomers that are mirror images of each other and they are non-superimposable. So this was a question. 
what is enantiomer so enantiomers are stereoisomers they have they are the mirror images of each other exactly mirror image but they are not super impossible we cannot place one over the other that is called as the enantiomers the enantiomer can rotate the plane polarized light they can rotate it to the equal but opposite direction so how much is the uh, dextro rotatory it will have the same lever rotatory they are optically active so the examples will be seeing few example diastereomers they are also stereoisomers but they are different from enantiomers how they are they are not mirror images they are not mirror images they cannot be superimposed also okay and the extent of rotation it will be different extent of optical rotation towards dextor levo it will show different rotation different extent of rotation but they are also optically active meso compounds they are stereoisomers but they are not optically active they are optically inactive why they are optically because inactive because they have a plane of symmetry which divides the molecule into two equal halves upper half and the lower half will be exactly same which we will be discussing in the example okay so if we he see here and the definition for geometric isomer is that uh, they are stereoisomers formed due to restriction of rotation about a carbon carbon double bond okay because of this restriction they can have different stereoisomeric forms so example for enantiomers two examples are here tartaric acid plus and minus form okay this is exactly same so if you look here we have the oh group which is coming here also so this is like a mirror okay so we have a mirror here and these groups are exactly same we if we place one over the other we can see that they are non superimposable they are non superimposable but the exact mirror image so if i am going to take this molecule and trying to place it over the other you can see that it is not superimposable the oh cannot be placed over the h which means they are not superimposable you cannot place one over the other this is known as enantiomers okay these are enantiomers but if you look here we can see that it is exact mirror image of each other diastereomers they are not mirror images they cannot be superimposed also it is different so you can see here we have br that is h and here it is br so they are different so when you place a mirror we can see that they are different so they are known as diastereomers they are not mirror images they cannot be placed uh, one over the other meso compounds meso compounds are optically inactive and why it is inactive because it has a plane of symmetry which divides the molecule into two equal half if you look here the upper part and the lower part is exactly same okay therefore it cannot be optically active because of presence of a plane of symmetry next question is example for anionic surfactant options are glycine sodium dodecyl sulfate trialkyl ammonium polyethylene glycol the correct answer is sodium dodecyl sulfate so we have to know more about surfactant because this is being repeatedly asked in various exams various competitive exams so surfactants means these are compounds which is used to reduce the surface tension between two phases it can be different phase like to different liquid phase gas or liquid liquid or solid etc between two different phase we have to reduce the surface tension surfactants are also called as surface active agents okay depending upon the molecular composition nature of dissociation of the polar heads the surfactants can be divided into different types they are classified into different types so let's discuss the different classification it's called as ionic and non ionic surfactants if you see under ionic we have different types one is cationic anionic amphiphilic okay depending upon the charge 
you know that uh, as per the cationic it will have a positive anionic negative amphiphilic is both plus and minus charge non-ionic there is no charge present in this type of surfactants we have to study the different examples for surfactant it is very important for different competitive exams let's see a few examples for cationic surfactant examples are dodecyl trimethyl ammonium chloride and another is cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide its another name is cetrimide anionic surfactant which were, which was asked in the question example is sodium dodecyl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate sodium glycocholate sodium torocholate sodium oleate sodium stearate sodium dodecyl sulfate sodium dodecyl benzene sulfonate these are few examples questions were repeatedly asked from surfactants so it is very important to study the classification as well as the examples amphoteric example alkyl carboxylates betanes non-ionic that is there is no charge it is polyhydric alcohol under polyhydric alcohol we have tweens and spans whereas another example is pluronic and sucrose esters so this is very important surfactants classification as well as example this is the first part of 2017 PAC exam Kerala PAC exam We are also providing a link to practice MCQ questions for the topic discussed today. You can find this on the comment box. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like this video, please share and subscribe the channel. Also click the bell icon so that you will receive all our videos as notification. Thank you.